Hey everybody, what's going on? Thought I'd take a quick second to do a little gear update. I am not a traditional unboxer and don't want to waste your life with peeling tape, so let's just jump right on it. I picked up the suction cup mount. I currently have a regular adhesive uh, base clip on the gas, uh, the uh, glass lens of my speedometer. I think it is just a hair bigger than the actual suction cup, so we're shooting for that first. And also maybe there's another surface either on my uh, baggers in the back or the um, uh, side of the gas tank where I also might be able to mount it. It does come with a pretty decent looking suction cup, nice and thick, silicone probably, nice little lockdown latch, a uh, little beefier hardware, and a couple other mounts, I guess off to the side, uh, or a little extension, side extension there, and a knuckle for positioning. Uh, I want to say $49.99 was the cost on that. I did pick up the uh, new Hero Sessions, the little one. At first, I wasn't sure about this. I thought of a few uses for it, um, but I went ahead and got it. I think it's going to work better as a helmet cam when out on the motorcycle. won't pick up as much wind resistance. Uh, I always like to point out to everybody, I've seen these unboxings. You know, they take it, they pop the clip, and they slide it off this plate. I can't tell you how many times I have used this plate and the plates. I have all the plates of the GoPros I've had. Uh, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've used those to stick them to something as a base plate on the dashboard. Uh, never, never throw out that cheap little piece of plastic. It's one of GoPro's best mounts. Again, you don't need to see me rip it open. But uh, real quick, it comes with a, uh, a few other accessories. Let's just get them out there. Again, delicate unboxing. Not necessary. Yay, more stickers. Uh, I don't think I've put one of those on yet, except for maybe the head rack I made. Uh, product placement sell you more. Don't need that. Comes with a nice little uh, charging cord. What is that? USB micro. Another foot mount. I got a dozen of these. I always pick them up. Two of them. The oh, ball, the 360 ball, which means uh, I will be returning that one. Don't need it. Although I probably won't, I always think 20 bucks, uh, who knows, might need it. Um, but anyway, a couple decent accessories. It's got the uh, two different um, mounting frames. I believe one's for a little more low profile. Um, uh, <clears throat> and yeah, I think that's also the uh, the ball mount is, is pretty sweet. I might keep the other one too. I, I uh, had a nice little upsell moment. Usually it's impossible to sell me stuff I don't want, but the... Uh, um, a uh, young guy I was talking to over at Best Buy was like, hey, man, uh, you know, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, motorcycle videos, time lapses. He goes, oh, did you get an extra battery pack yet? And I had uh, expressed how plugging in, plugging in through the side of the GoPro, having to take it out of its very protective case, stuff like that was a pain. He, he recommended this. He said, hey, check it out. It wasn't bad. Again, uh, 40 bucks, 40, 40 to 50 bucks, I think forty nine ninety nine. dollars supposed to be six hours. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pop that open real quick. It's uh, packaged pretty well. I guess this is actually going to be more of a uh, an opening here because I am going to have to open it to show it to you. Try not to get too bad with the camera work. But nice. It's a uh, called a refuel. I'll try and get some specs on it and throw it in the description below. Uh, when I first looked at it and I saw this little, it's it's almost. Like, uh, see how it's off-centered? I was like, oh, this packaging wasn't open, and it, it's loose. And I didn't get it at first, but I'll explain that in a second. Charging cord. I did pick up a pack of uh, handlebar seat post pole mount kind of combos. I do have a, a, a couple boom poles that uh, I've got rigged up that might replace some of my more uh, rigged-looking stuff. As I said, I am going to return the uh, this ball mount if I think I don't need it. Uh, real quick, the battery pack, which I thought was kind of cool, you pop off the door of your old GoPro. Remember, take your time, but you can see there's two inner hinges here. When you clip it in, you just pop, pop it straight out. Take a good look at it before you do it, and you pick up your refuel, and we're going to lock this in right here. Like so. Go ahead and close the cases together, and now that little kind of rocker battery slot that lines up into the uh, the slot here. These two, now you get why this got a little given a little spring to it, because as you close it, it needs to line up. Go ahead and latch it down. Make sure it's held and good together. And when we power it up, we will see 
lighting changed drastically. Sorry about that. Let's try and give you that. And you can see now, I hope you can see now, a change in the LCD. There's a little, there is a little brick pattern there. Come on, focus. Doing this with my phone to make it upload faster. Uh, the layout of it changed. That is my new battery down there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'll charge all this up. Again, I just wanted to do a quick little uh, look at the new gear before um, I started using it because then I never get back to, to a Reebok. And this thing, and, and trying to reopen it for you. This thing looks pretty cool. This, of course, will be put into use with the Solo Shot. Is this Solo Shot 2? Um, for my longer time lapses, we'll have this baby doing some nice custom tilting on this. Uh, anyway, quick box unboxing for you guys, sort of, kind of. And uh, hopefully it improves the videos for y'all. Make some better time lapses, put a little motion into them, and uh, see if you how you guys like it. Hopefully that wasn't my focus just finally correcting. Uh, again, trying to put some stuff up for you without getting crazy editing. Um, just to give you a little more content. Uh, if you like what you see, hit like, subscribe. I, will, I do respond to comments. Uh, let me know.